Hello, Andrew here at Unlimited Symbols, and we're going to do a marvelous uh, sound healing meditation with this set of bowls that we call the Universal Acceptance. It's a set of seven. Um, traditionally, I sometimes find that people uh, spend a lot of time focusing on the fourth chakra, which is, is the fourth chakra bowl, um, and sometimes ignore uh, how it interacts with um, all the other chakras. But in this case, given the size of this bowl and what this set does, is we ain't gonna be ignoring the fourth chakra today. We're gonna to be looking straight into it and seeing what happens. The interesting thing about our four chakras is, is how we feel about ourselves, how we relate to others. And it's an interesting one because it's sort of the, the connector between the lower chakras, which will have to do more with our physical body or etheric body or astral body and our upper chakras, which have to do with um, fifth, sixth and seventh chakras. It's a it's a um, fulcrum, I like to say, and it's a powerful fulcrum. Um, you know, we have to remember sometimes we like someone that we want to start dating or marry. Sometimes we think it's all four chakras, but it's a lot of second chakra too in that point. And there are other things too. So sometimes we, we put a lot of things onto the four chakra that aren't there. So what I'm going to talk about a little bit today as we start to do this is um, the fourth chakra ha can have a lot of judgment to it. Um, it can be punished a lot by people who don't want you to feel good about yourself, don't want you to accept yourself. If you don't feel good about yourself, you're not going to be bright. You're not going to be shiny. There are a lot of spirits and energies out there that want you to feel bad about yourself. And you have your own stuff too. And if you can release that and accept yourself, accept who you are, that you're one of God's children, one of God's creations, and obviously there's probably nothing wrong with you then except what you believe to have picked up, you're going to be a lot happier and a lot lighter, a lot more trusting of the universe, and a lot less caught up, here's the flip side, of the bullshit that you see. If you don't feel good about yourself, but someone says, if you do this, if you follow me, if you believe this, you will feel good about yourself because you will be right, then you're going to go down paths that may not be good for you. If you feel good about your fourth chakra, and you can accept divine healing, divine connection, divine communication, then you're not gonna be running around like chasing all sorts of things. Um, it's the same way a lot of times when people end up um, getting into addictive tendencies too, it's because they have some blocks here. So we're gonna cure everything with that in just this one five, 10 minute healing. You're gonna be perfect. Well, not really. <laughs> it's nice to think so, isn't it? But we can do a little bit each time. Um, you can listen to this again and again, just the sound parts of it. It's really a, um, it's really beautiful. I was testing it on myself before right now I had garbage going on. I can tell you right now, I still have more pain coming out. Um, you wouldn't look to think, you look at me and you go, he's perfect. How could he still have pain in his fourth chakra? But no, there's still a lot there. Um, I guess I'm not universally accepting myself yet, but it's okay because probably you're not either. And if you are, you're probably not watching this. So let's start, let's have a good healing. Okay, see you on the other side. I may talk a little bit in the middle of it just to guide a little bit, but let's just try to do it with the sound.
close your eyes again and, and just imagine, use your imagination to just allow your fourth chakra to appear in front of you. An image of your fourth chakra. You don't want to go down into your fourth chakra. Oh, where is it? Just imagine it. It's right up in front of you. And just ask, what's the first color, first image you see that's there that's not you, that's keeping your from accepting who you are and that you're okay. It could be a color, it could be an image, it could be a person. For me, because I'm working on and not because of Freud, I see a picture of my mom. It could be that way for a lot of people. Mom said, don't do that. You're bad. Do it this way. It may not be that that's what I'm not doing. It's from when I was a little kid. So I can just say hello to it. You don't have to do anything to it. Don't have to push it away. Don't try to break it up. Just say hello to it. Watch what happens when you say hello to it. Does it start to get smaller? Does it get bigger at first? To say hello to it in non-judgment. Because it is a judgment. And if you match it, you're going to judge it too. Like, oh, I can't believe that color's in my fourth chakra. I can't believe that teacher's still judging me. yourself or hold on to it. I feel a little release. Maybe look what maybe one, another one's coming out. It's always fun to get a couple. What's the next one? If you put up your fourth chakra, let just imagine it a swirling thing, swirls two different ways, whatever. Just imagine it if you want as a boat, imagine it, whatever. What's the next thing in there that's not you? It's not you that's keeping you from accepting yourself, loving yourself. I have a little piece of like energy, energetic programming from uh, some experiences with uh, beings from not from this planet. some experiences like that. They didn't like me uh, doing something. It's a little bit of like a spaceship. I'm like, oh, hi. That's interesting. I got aliens judging me. What do you got? Maybe a uh, gym teacher. Maybe a uh, your person you campaigned against for 10th grade class treasurer. Doesn't matter. Say hello to me. Just say hello to it. What color is it? And then imagine it going into a rose. It's really simple or something and just exploding. No effort. Just go boom. Ah. Maybe you're feeling a little more space, a little more key about this is the sound is helping I want you to imagine a color that you feel from you right now is very accepting and loving your color what color do you love what color do you like and let that an energetic color of that and maybe the energy of self acceptance whatever that color is for you if you don't know just make it up and let that color of energy go into your fourth chakra. Imagine seeing, I'm going to fill up that space.
fill up where you just released. Because if you don't fill it up, it's a vacuum. It'll get filled up with more judgment. And own that space. You still may feel some pain there. It's okay. You can let that pain come out. Just say hello to the pain. Just say hello to it. It's not bad to have it there. It's been there forever. The very fact that you're seeing it right now, you're feeling it right now, means you're ready to get rid of it. It's been there unconscious for all this time. Beautiful. Now I'm going to play this for a little bit. I want you just to imagine, as I'm doing that, spiritually holding your hands out or spiritually connecting, whatever way you like, to the love of God, whatever that means for you. And just ask for more acceptance of yourself. God will be right there going, yeah, I've been loving you the whole time. You've been judging yourself, but I can let you have it. But if you want to change it, you can. And I'm just going to play for you. Feel free to come back to this video and utilize it again and the sounds and whatever else I can provide here because uh, there's always more to take out um, from your mom to aliens to anything who knows what's in there but if you clean it out you'll start to feel better thanks <laughs>